Welcome to a Saturday afternoon chat. It is Saturday, November 15th, 2014. I don't believe I have a reference to date on these. So. There you go. It's almost like Christmas and stuff. They were a little bit under a month. Today, today's beverage of choice is the Starbucks refresher brand. I was able to rip off a huge pile of dollar off one coupons from Walmart. The tear pads, and these are a dollar fifty at my local store, so fifty cents can. I went and cleared them out earlier. Hopefully, they get the stock boy back in there, and they can put some more in there. Beep. Okay, we are. This is going to be a another kind of an update show, just because we were missing some many of things. Okay, so we're calling it reality sex because it kind of has to do with reality sex. Okay, so we got the Duggar. You know, we got Jessa and Ben Seawald from the Duggars. They got married, and this news was broke last week. This is kind of old news, probably to you, but it was reported that they were con caught consummating the marriage at the church reception. Uh, that was the rumor, supposedly, and then I think she comes back and says that this is just gossip and it's not true. But remember, if you've been watching my videos for a while, we did a uh, 19 Kids in Gear Kit. We did a 19 Kids in Counting episode, and we were talking about that and how because of their religion, you know, they don't they only side hug before marriage. Uh, that's all they do, and then here. They were supposedly caught consummating the marriage at the reception, which I totally believe that because, again, like we said, it's so crazy. Like, you know, you just get that I do, and then it's, it's all good then. I mean, it's a religious choice, and it's up to, it's, it's up to you, but it's just, it's just so wild. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, we have to talk. We just have to bring it up at least anything. Um, it's funny that this article was on Fox News, but... Rob Shooter of NaughtyGossup.com is the reporter who is say, saying this. Multiple people were discussing that when Ginger opened the door to get Jess for the reception, she immediately closed the door with a look of shock on her face, wrote Mary B, which is the one who uh, is reporting this. So Good for them. It's like, why wait to the wedding night? You know, you, you know, the hotel probably had a swimming pool and a hot tub and probably like free HBO. So it's like, why waste the time there? consummating when you can just do it at the reception and you can enjoy everything that the hotel has to offer. Am I right? Am I right? Beep. Okay, so now we have to go to 90 Day Fiance for a Danielle and Muhammad doing a Danielle and Muhammad the truth update. Now, I found this um, on the TLC on their Facebook page for the 90 Day Fiance. There was a, someone shared a link to this. This is a Tumblr. Uh, just look up Danielle and Mohammed Tumblr, and this is the truth. This is a whole story about the truth between, there they are again, you know these people if you watch 90 Day Fiance. Um, okay, here, where should we start? So this is supposedly the truth. If you watched this last week's episode, uh, Mohammed... Does, he goes out while she's at work, and he goes out and plays soccer with these dudes, and then they decide to go to a bar, and then there's these two, like, you know, hussies at the bar, and um, they're, of course, hitting on Mohammed, and Mohammed doesn't know what to do, and he's like, what's a hookup? And so, poor Mohammed. So, Danielle was not there to put her foot down, because that chick, I think she could... Stay on her own and just smack a bee, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so it says, To begin with, in spite of the fact that the couple has been happily married for months now, so this is now they're married now because, you know, the show was taped months ago, sources tell us that the couple is still not having sex. In fact, Mohammed refuses to even sleep in the same bed as Danielle and remains on the couch where viewers saw him resting when he first arrived in the country. Okay. Now, again, Mohammed's thing is it's a religious choice. You know, they don't have sex before marriage. Now they're married. It was only 90 days, and it's still kind of shady because it's like, well, what does Mohammed see in this, like, 40-plus-year-old woman from Ohio? Um, and Mohammed is still residing in Danielle's home. Sources tell us that Danielle has severe psychological problems, including suicidal tendencies. Wow. This led Muhammad to seek re refuge in the home of Danielle's friend, Angie, throughout the past summer. 
You might remember Angie from the bonus clip in which Angie, who is also married to a Muslim man, teaches Danielle about halal food in anticipation of Muhammad's arrival. Remember, you can't add bacon unless it's halal, which means it's been preyed on prior. Um, then it goes on to tell us about how um, the arrangement ended after Muhammad allegedly made sexual advances at both Angie and her 17-year-old daughter, which makes sense. He's only 26. This did not come as a surprise to some of those close to Danielle, many of whom have already suspected Muhammad of cheating. Oh, no. And then we got, Danielle has also discussed the strain the relationship has put on her finances in the past. Sources confirm that Danielle has had her utility shut off many times since Muhammad's arrival, and she is now being evicted. Because she spent all of her money on to get Muhammad here, because she's blinded by Muhammad, who... You watch that show, he still, they don't even look each other in the eyes. There's like no chemistry whatsoever. And she's like hugging him and stuff and he just sits there. Uh, even still, it appears that from a screenshot of a Facebook dispute between Danielle and a family member that Mullins, Danielle, her name is Danielle Mullins is her full name, is doing her best to raise the funds necessary for Mohammed to stay here permanently in spite of pleas to do otherwise. Why? Mohammed was cheating on Angie and the 17-year-old daughter. And then here's the Facebook conversation. Um, I'm trying, I found her on Facebook, but she has her profile um, private, so I couldn't see anymore. Something is always happening or going wrong. Right now, all I care about is coming up with the $1,070 so he can work, because it would solve a lot of problems going on right now. Yeah, so they got to get Mohammed working. Um, it also appears that Danielle may have to pay more of Muhammad's legal fees than she bargained for. Sources reveal that Muhammad's relationship with Mullen's son has not improved. Remember that episode? He was like, don't scam my mom. Reportedly, the two have been involved in altercations that have turned physical and the police have even needed to be called. Sources say a close, says a source close to both Jabali and Mullen's, I know he will leave her. Oh, that's sad. And then we can continue to the following page for more about the relationship. So apparently this Tumblr keeps developing on and on and on, but check it out for yourself. I wasn't going to waste the ink or paper on these people, but I just thought we had to talk about it. So we have the Duggarts consummating at the reception just because they wanted to use the hot tub and check out the free HBO. And then you have Mohammed and Danielle who still wants to sleep on the couch and not touch her or even look at her. But he's in the United States now, so he's enjoying living in the good old United States of America. So it's like we have both worlds right here. It's pretty crazy. So yeah, so 90 Day Fiance keeps getting better. The guy from Saniot from that went to visit his chick in Rio de Janeiro, he goes there and everything is awesome. They come home and they were supposedly going to, she was excited that they had a pool. Their pool was green and they had, they were going to try to get it cleaned up and she comes back and the father didn't do nothing and the pool's still green. It's like, why would you not even try? And like, did you look at her? She's like stunning. It's like, dude, he, yeah, no, dude. And then it's funny on my personal Facebook page, I actually had a guy that looked like him friend me. I don't have a clue who he is. This is his name is James. I think that's his name. And, but it says he's from a different state, so it seemed weird, probably because I like the 90 Day Fiance page, so something on there is triggering that, but I did not friend him. No, 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 no. <laughs> so there you go, there you have it. So congratulations to Jessa and Ben. I hope to see more of you on the next episodes. Um, are they, is she pregnant yet? That's the part I've not known. I probably, she might even be pregnant by now. Most likely she is, because that's how they roll, they just, Pop out those kids. Bam, bam. Yeah, beep. It's just crazy. So, yeah. All right, now you can bring the kids back now since we're talk done talking about reality sex. But, yeah. So, there you go. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Let's check out the time here. I'll be back. Hmm, what time? No, so next week's the 22nd. I'll be back then. And then it's Thanksgiving. I will be back on the 29th. Probably, possibly. I'm coming back from Nevada on that day, but I'll be at the, I'm getting a hotel that night, so it's possible I'll talk to you about something. Hopefully we have a 90 day fiance update. Most likely we will. Next we could turn into a 90 day fiance update. Or Honey Boo Boo is going to be uh, Mama June's on Dr. Phil on Monday, so set your DVR or VHS if you still have a VHS. I don't have a DVR or a VHS, so I am SOL.
I just need to call and complain to the um, dish company that I want to cancel and they'll probably send me one for free. But I'm not paying for one, so I got to get off my VCR. All right, it's been 10 minutes. I will see you next week and say a prayer again for the, no, I don't think you need a prayer for the Duggars, but please pray for Muhammad and Daniel. All right, until then, thanks for watching. Bye. I've been in bed for over an hour. Oh!